生というゲームに本気で向き合いなさい In Ron Kong anime, we always encounter the main character that just seems so annoying. Most of the MCs we see in Ron Kong anime, especially those that are harems, always feel like they have not talked to a single girl in their entire life. But what happens when they grow out of the shell? Have we seen a character develop like that? A new season coming out soon. Let me introduce you to a show called Bottom Tier Character Tomozaki and its MC. Our boy Tomozaki is Japan's best player when it comes to Super Attack families, which feels like a Walmart version of Super Smash Bros. And as every gamer knows, when you're the best, you forget there's something called social life. He might be the best in Super Attack families or Tech Fam for short. But now, he sees himself as a bottom tier character in the hardest game of all called Life. He had reached the pinnacle of online game fame. But all that changed when he met Aoi Hinami. Not only was Aoi a skilled player, but she also had a vibrant social life and intelligence to boot. In short, Aoi embodied everything a gamer could hope to achieve. That's when Aoi decides that it's time for Tomozaki to level up and finally get his game on. Who really is Tomozaki? Well, you might have gotten a glimpse of his personality when I talked about the plot, but let's get to know him some more. He's pretty much a social outcast. He embodied the anime archetype of an otaku, unkept hair, slumped posture, and a shy demeanor. And at the beginning of the series, not only has he given up on socializing, he was satisfied with being a background character. He has no experience when it comes to socializing, and when he does, he overanalyzes his actions and is careful to not offend anyone he's interacting with. Except when you call Tech from trash and make excuses when losing because he totally destroyed Nakamura. However, everything changed when he met Aoi. Aoi was the player named No Name and was the second strongest just under him. For advice, he started improving his social skills and leveled up both as a person and as a gamer. Throughout the show, we witnessed this remarkable transformation reflected not only in his attitude, also in his outward appearance. He even got angry and went for an entire speech when one of the girls in Erika called the game stupid and disregarded Nakamura's hard work. Unlike other characters, However, Tomozaki's growth was instant. It was like water droplets forming together to create a one giant puddle. When he first met Oi, he honestly looked like a hobo. That's why, when Oi delivered a blunt yet necessary assessment, highlighting his flaws, while harsh, her words served as a wake up call. Exposing issues Tomozaki needed to confront. That's when Oi said he wasn't fit to be a gamer. That was the one line that sparked his inner desire to be better. His growth showed us that you're at the bottom rank, even if you're hard stuck in League of Legends, yet always put effort to improve step by step instead of coping. When you watch the series, you'll notice he changes through the little things. Like how, after every few episodes, his hair starts to look cleaner, and his posture starts to straighten up. This is crucial for everyone to understand because most people focus on the destination and tend not to enjoy the journey. Another thing that bottom tier character Tomozaki shows us is that sometimes, in order for people to start molding the best version of themselves, they need a little push. For Tomozaki, it was Aoi who was constantly keeping an eye on him to make sure he did his trainings properly. It's called accountability, and if you can't do it, then ask a friend to help you. Many people these days give up when they think they're past the point of saving. They lose the drive to keep going when life throws them to the ground. But Tomozaki stays dedicated. That's why I think he's an incredible role model to follow. Tomozaki proved that even when you don't like it, even when it's hard, you have to push yourself to change your circumstances. Put in effort and you might be surprised at the things you can achieve. The future you won't even believe is you. You might even be shocked of how, how much you're enjoying life. In the beginning, he can't smile properly and at the end, he looks like a proper student with self-confidence and self-discipline. I mean, he's even better than Kazuya Kinoshita from Rent-A-Girlfriend, who usually takes takes two steps forward and two steps back when it comes to character development. Aim. It is not only Tomozaki that does that. There are other characters like Ludius Greyhat from Shoku Tensei, who started as an adult in a kid's body that was so immature, has some deep trauma because of bullying, and was just too much of a pervert. Now, after experiencing all those highs and lows, he starts focusing on burying himself. He built solid relationships with people like Soda Heckler. Worked out, he even started losing that perverted mindset. I mean, yeah, it did come at the cost of ED, but he still managed to grow and it wasn't overnight. It took Rudius years of self-improvement to get where he is now, and if you read the light novel, he doesn't stop growing. Not only that, the push that Rudius needed was when Eris left him, and another moment was when he met Sophie again. 
This journey was changing his entire persona, was full of hardships, pain, and suffering, but it did pay off at the end. Due to all of this, you can even say he's a proper adult. Superlid from Rizio offers another example. Initially, he was lost and misguided, setting unrealistic expectations. Like Tomozaki and Ludius, he was once a hikikomori, a Japanese term for someone withdrawn from social life. Before he arrived in Luginica, Tsubure was plagued by an inferiority complex that made it difficult for him to connect with others. However, as the series unfolds, he transforms into someone people can rely on. Tension seeking as a child, Tsubure grew distant and dropped out of school, leading to estrangement from his parents. But meeting Amelia and others ignited a spark inside him, allowing him to force true bonds. Throughout shared trials, he learned to push himself beyond limits, always striving to save those he cared for. He wants to be a hero for Ram and be a better person for Emilia. But his growth wasn't easy. It took countless deaths and hardships. Tomozaki might not have had challenges as intense as Subaru and Rudius. But I guess for us, he's more relatable since his experiences can mirror yours and mine. He was transported to another world, nor does he have overpowered abilities, except for being a godly gamer. But besides that, he's just a normal person that's no social life. That's where we can see ourselves inside his character. His growth wasn't crazy, not like he went from nerd to superhero overnight, but it was in a sense, human. He was a realistic kind of change, a kind of change that we can all try to achieve. Like many other YouTubers, my YouTube journey started slow. My early videos didn't get many views, but I didn't let that discourage me. I kept grading, kept pushing myself to improve, and now I'm finally seeing some success. Over 2,000 views on my Freeland video essay and 1,000 views on my ASMR. Remember guys, life isn't some crazy race, it's an adventure. So don't worry about being first or last, just focus on making the journey awesome. Take each step with a smile and always try to be better than you were yesterday, just like Mike's guy. He didn't have any fancy ninjutsu, but he worked hard as heck to become a ninja legend, just like his teammate Kakashi, who was basically a genius. So remember guys, effort and passion can take you far. Become someone like Zuko, who realized that fighting for what is right is better than honor. And the best example I could find was Bakugo from even though he was a complete bully at the beginning, he's now grown to someone who can truly be called a hero. Sometimes growth isn't even noticeable can be even as small as a change in mindset. Three words describe the series. Good character development, but don't expect it to dive deep into self-improvement. After all, it's still at its heart a rom-com. Despite the beach episode and some fan service, the show's message resonates with many viewers. And with season two just around the corner, we'll likely see more Tomozaki. If you haven't already, give it a try. And that ends my video on bottom tier character Tomozaki. If you enjoyed that video and want to know more about the trend of strong anime girls, click here to find out. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.